Hello, That Great Juice viewers. I'm Chad Kincaid, and today we have the talented and handsome stars of BET Pluses and Tyler Perry's bro. Please help me in welcoming Barry Brewer, Madi Kashi, Philip Munnings Jr., and Monty Washington. How are you today, gentlemen? Well, good. Hey, good. How are you doing, Chad? Amazing uh, intro. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to ask you the most predictable question ever. How important is brotherhood to each and every one of you? Barry? Oh, man. <laughs> brotherhood is, uh, in, in my opinion, one of the most important. I think that brothers, uh, we as brothers, especially having this union, this newfound union for me, is I've never had brothers as like my age i've been the oldest of three so to have a brotherhood men who keep you accountable people who you can look across from and learn from and listen to and and, and do life with mm -hmm. from relationships to you know fatherhood and you know all aspects as a man so i think it's it's a very uh important foundational uh thing i think we all need in order to continue to grow as me and as we journey different aspects of our lives. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that, you know, family and friendship, those are the most important things. Now, family, you're kind of subject to whatever. Friendships are what we choose. And, you know, that makes it a unique experience having like solid, strong friendships. And actually, I'm going to, I'm going to just talk about these guys here on the screen with me. And these are, we all kind of, for the most part, really started to develop a bond when we first booked the show. And these have become like, we've all been become real life bros. And, and um, it's interesting. I just, I recently had a birthday and I had a birthday while we were filming season three. Happy and, belated. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and it was so awesome because I got to have, so uh, I got to bring a group of friends together, including all the gentlemen you see on the screen, as well as some other friends of mine. And to me, that's such a meaningful experience. I know a lot of times in this country, it'll be like you have a birthday dinner and everybody will pitch in. So like the birthday person doesn't have to pay. But to me, I'm like, absolutely not. Like I want my guests, I want to treat my guests because like I like that they came to celebrate for me. And, you know, I'm just going to call out. Like at the end of the night, when, when the dinner was done, it was like the bill was already paid. I'm like, huh? And it was one of my brothers here on the screen, Barry Brewer, that just, he just, he just took hey. the old bill. And, right. and to me, like, here's the thing, like, to me, that's so meaningful because it's something that's better than getting me a gift. Because like, when we're talking about brotherhood, like that friendship is so important to me. Like, I love to be able to show how much they, they mean to me just by a meal or something simple. So for him to like do something that I wanted to do anyways, for all of my friends, some of them, some of whom he didn't even know, it was such a powerful, uh, just gesture, right? So, you know, I guess that is an anecdotal example of like, how brotherhood just like really does touch you in ways greater than money or anything else, you know? I love you, Marty. Okay. <laughs> all love, Marty. Marty, hello. We love each other for real. Yeah, I, I, I would agree. Um, similar to, to Barry, I was the only child growing up. So I never really had that brotherhood relationship until like I got older. And then, you know, moving around a lot, you lose touch with people but when I met these guys it was the first time where I related to people and I, I I love these guys and they're they're my brothers for real and it's cool to be able to experience all these different things in life especially as life is changing quickly in these last few years I can hit anybody up and I have a special relationship with everybody and then together we all have a bond that feel I, I know is unbreakable and it's for life so it's, it's been so important for me personally as things start to change the one thing that hasn't changed for me or it has changed but it's grown is our relationship with each other so I'm, I'm so thankful I thank God for these guys yeah it's it's foundation it's foundation as you know you got your intimate relationships with your, your your wife your husband you got your family you got your kids you got your friends and then there's a level beyond friendship which is brotherhood because there's a lot of friends i'm cool with but if we lose touch we lose touch it was good while i last see you know no hard feelings but like this this is a brotherhood since we kind of came up in this business together our first big opportunity and you see that by watching the show what you see translated on the screen is a real depiction of, and reflection of what's going on in real life. So it's such a foundation. And I think it's that you don't realize how much it's needed until you experience it. 
Like you really don't. A lot of us are, you know, single kids or, you know, grew up in a system. So you're away from siblings. And it's just like brotherhood was never really a big thing. And then when you experience this with these fellas, it's like, oh, wow, that's important. You never knew it added so much and you never knew it enriched your life so much until you experienced it. So I think it's a foundational piece in life that, you know, goes uh, underrated a lot. Awesome. Thank you. So I just caught up with the show season two. You guys had me entertained. Now your characters have some very interesting storylines, like just each one of you just stepping back and looking at all the topics explored. Have either one of you ever experienced any of these situations that uh, maybe um, that any of the characters experienced in the show? I have. Mm. Uh, my mom's character is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. She's a, I adore her. <laughs> yeah, she is uh, not as vulgar as it relates to the sex side, but like growing up, my mom was always very, uh, just very vocal about her her perspective on sex mm. and other aspects of like growing up, and it just made me feel very uncomfortable. Um, just sometimes too close, too too friendly, too like honest, too open about certain subjects as a you know a young boy growing up in the hood, and it just was like I don't really want to know you like that, and I don't want you to know me like that. <laughs> That's my mom. Man. Right. So so uh, there's parts of that relationship that I truly do relate to, and that is true. That uh, sometimes makes me laugh. All right. Mm. Uh, the only thing I've related to my little um, uh, my little brother, and my cousins, they were, you know, I'm, I'm come from the hood, so they were into some uh, some activities for lack of better words. <laughs> and like in season one, where we had to come to the rescue for uh, Barry's character, John, um, you know, me and a couple of my cousins, we had to we had to be there for our boy because you know he was getting into some stuff. You know, he felt like his back was against the corner, and you know we had to kind of talk him out of it. You know, before he makes a really bad decision, so. That that hit home, and that was really cool to see how all the bros on the show was there for John. You know, understanding his circumstances, even though you don't dis- even though you don't agree and stuff. It's a, it's a beautiful thing to know that like sometimes your bros can save you from yourself. Right. Yes. Well, gentlemen, I wish we had more time, but thank you so much for what you've given us. We here at the, um, that grape juice truly appreciate you all. Congratulations. Wish you much more success and have an amazing day. Thank right, you. you too. Thanks, Chet. Appreciate you. Yeah.